Mori anointed mass. Dark anointed mass. Some say Merry Christmas. Now, we're dealing with the word Mary. What does Mary mean? Love. <clears throat> does Mary come from? Amore. Amor. Amoru. Mm. Okay, so you the word amor. So you have to understand, you know, when dealing with the English language, when you hear certain words containing more, you know, Morrison, Morris, Morgan, um, um, uh, more, um, Morris, Maurice. Cole, Coleman, Blackman, Blackwell, different things like this. These are all names that are associated with more, which means dark. Which, when you're talking about dark, you're you're you know you're talking about um, you know uh, melanin, you know. So when we get into this whole um, Maury anointed mass. Because you know Mary is more, or Mori, dark. Um, Christ is anointed in mass is to come together. So we're talking about the coming together of the melanin. You know we're talking about the the pineal gland. We're talking about the pituitary gland. We're talking about the hypothalamus gland. We're talking about the birth of the sun. We're talking about um, the three magi. We're talking about uh, Mary, Jesus, and uh, Joseph. You know, um, you're dealing with these threes. You know, um, what do they say? What do they say? The Father, uh, um, the 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 Son, and the Spirit, which is really the Father, the Mother, and the Son. You know, um, it's the Trinity. You know, but we have to um, realize that um there are multiple trinities you know three is a magical number um and don't be spooked out by magic you know or or to be mad magi it's just dealing with wisdom or to be wise you know so <clears throat> don't be scared of wisdom wisdom is um um found in the darkness you know wisdom is a uh, waters wisdom is a uh, um a dark cauldron you know it's where things brew things transform in the dark where is a child born? Where is a child sit nine months? Darkness, triple stages of darkness. Uh, three trimesters, trimesters of pregnancy. Um, you know, um, there's three different stages. You know, engulfed in darkness. You know, so don't be afraid of darkness. You know, darkness is uh, peaceful. You know, um, that's where peace is found. When you um, sleep or you close your eyes, it's dark. You turn off the lights. You don't sleep with the lights on and your eyes open. You know, so um, um, again, you know, um, see, back when you know this was a time, you know, that our ancestors, you know, on the um, the west, you know, would um, fast, you know, um, for those three days, and they say the sun sits still, you know, um, in December, you know, um, it would be a time of fasting, you know, um time of um, spiritual enlightenment, spiritual enhancement, you know, um, detoxing from all um, the physical material, you know, a time of cleansing, a time of purifying, but, um, you know, these monsters have um, taken that, perverted it, and flipped it into a time of um, physical and uh, materialistic thoughts, um, people expecting material uh, gifts, um, um, you know, people... Um, doing different things, you know, just because they're told to on a certain day, you know, um, this is the only time that we can get together as a family is when it's sanctioned by the government, then we have serious issues as a family that we need to discuss, work out, resolve, you know, and we need to um, construct, you know, other days and other times and, um, you know, unify more as a family instead of making excuses and having a, you know, oh well mentality, it's just the way it is, you know, just go with the flow, you know. Um, but yeah, when you're dealing with the Maury Christ Mass, you know, you have to realize that, you know, you're dealing with, you know, enlightenment. You know, you're dealing with transformation. 
you know, you're dealing with creation, you know, um, so it's really a time to get in touch with your spiritual self, you know, and, um, align your spirit, you know, um, you know, with your soul, you know, and, um, set out on that path, you know, that's been, um, ordained for you to walk, you know, so, um, it's not about the materialism, you know, it's not about the emotional, uh, attachments it's more so about spiritual growth and spiritual development a lot of these things are done when one is by themselves you know when they're by their self you know alone separated from lar large groups of people separated from mass crowds <clears throat> because the mass takes place inside of you you know it doesn't take a large group of people see this is what happens when you have us trying to physically comprehend spiritual things we're trying to physically reenact what is spiritual or physically act out what is spiritual and these things can't be done it, it, it gets perverse you know and lost in translation you know so it's really a time of, of a meditation you know a time of um, um of cleansing and purifying you know um being with nature being one with nature you know um doing things a natural way you know um and really just you know honoring you know nature and um um, thanking, being thankful, you know, to nature and being thankful, you know, to, um, you know, uh, the gifts that you have received. And see, the gifts aren't materialistic gifts. The gift is knowledge. You have to be thankful for the knowledge that you have received. You know, see, that's what the mass anointing is. It's mass knowledge. You know, so how do you transform this knowledge? What do you transform this knowledge into? You know, um, I'm not really going to go into depth. I'm not going to, you know, spook anybody out or anything like that, you know, going into other stuff, you know. But I just wanted to say that this is really a time for people to really, you know, um, get a wholeness of mind. Not a peace of mind, a wholeness of mind, you know, and really um, focus on the inner self, on the inner son, you know, and, um, you know, heating up that fire, you know, that's going to ascend you to the next level, you know, so, um, you know, some people, you know, they have certain ideologies that they're, they're emotionally attached to, you know, they're attached to, you know, um, the smiles and the family time, the different things like that, but there's other ways to make our children smile, they there's other ways to have time with our family. We need to be more constructive. We need to stop being so passive, you know. We need to start taking action, you know, as opposed to just taking things the way they are. And we need to, you know, be the change that we want to see, you know. So it all starts with each individual family. These are things that we must construct within our families, you know, and build teams, you know, and um, branch off and build that way, you know, because um, the um, lack of unity you know, um, the lack of organization, you know, it's, it's, um, it's not gonna, um, it's not a good look, you know, it, it's, it will surely bring about the demise, you know, of certain groups of people, you know, so it, it, it will be very, you know, um, very, um, beneficial for them to, um, start tapping into the roots, you know, um, get into the source, get into the origin, you know, the origin, the spirit of higher consciousness, you know, become the owner of higher consciousness, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, you are all and all is you, you know, so the better you get to know you, the more familiar you'll get with and the better you'll get to know the all, you know, so um, with that being said, you know, um, just, uh, you know, slowly but surely, you know, detach, you know, strip away, get out of that root chakra, the materialistic pleasure zone. You know, we have to rise above that. We got to heat up. We got to rise above that. You know, we can't keep making excuses for um, partying in our lower levels. You know, we, we have to, you know, we have to rise, you know. Um, some of us think that, you know, um, we'll always have time, but, um, you know, time is designed to work against you. So it will behoove you to use your time wisely, you know. Um, and just, you know, what you don't know, 
study, you know, look it up, you know, you don't have to take my word for anything, you know, look these things up, you know, ancient customs, traditions, you know, what some may call pagan, pagan is just non-Roman, you know, who's a proud Roman citizen, you know, people use the term pagan and throw the term pagan around like it's a bad thing, you know, when in actuality, you know, to say that you're not a pagan is saying that you're a Roman citizen, you know, that you're, you know, a Christian, you know, that you're, um, you know, a part of Rome, you know, because a pagan is, you know, um, a commoner or really an outsider, you know, someone that's outside the boundaries or the jurisdiction of Rome, you know, pagan is a term that's anonymous with, uh, with heathen, with heathen, ethnic, Arab, um, Berber, miscreant, um, and there are, you know, a few other terms, you know, that are synonymous, you know, with uh, the term pagan. And if you look it up, you know, the etymology, you know, you'll see how these words link, you know, together. You know, ethnic means pagan. We have an ethnic hair section at, at, at the store, you know, so what is that, the pagan hair section? You know, pagan is just a term used to describe those that are non-Roman or non-Roman citizen, you know, non, you know, outside, a foreigner. Foreigners are pagans. If you're foreign to their rules, their regulations, their codes, their guidelines, their municipalities, you are a pagan. Their religion, their beliefs, their system, you're a pagan. You know, um, stop being spooked out by words and stop throwing around cliche words and terms that you've heard without really looking into them and finding out the source and the root of what these words mean. You know, um, you're doing yourself a great, you know, um, you're, you're not fully honoring yourself. You're not honoring yourself. You're doing yourself a great dishonor when you do that. You know, so always dig deeper. If you're a deep thinker, dig deeper, go deeper. If you're a shallow thinker, definitely, definitely, you wanna go deeper. You know, find some deep people to hang around. You know, practice, you know, and swimming around in the deep end. You know, but um, there's no excuses for remaining shallow, you know. If you have the knowledge, you know, we have to start applying this knowledge, you know. If we have the consciousness, we have to start applying this, you know, and um, bringing it to, con you know, being conscientious. You know, we have to go from consciousness to conscientiousness. You know, this knowledge and the application of knowledge, knowledge and wisdom, you know, and this brings forth creation or comprehension, you know, transformations, you know, um, so evolution you know evolution you know we have to rise and be greater you know so again you know study 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 you know and um to next time peace